to be clear, you are not going forward with this. I'm gonna fix it myself. Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm going to be talking about Better Call Saul Season 6, the final season and it's finally coming. We have double release dates since this longer 13 episode season is getting broken up into two parts. We have some short teasers, some promotional photos, and the creators and actors have all said some interesting things about the final season that are worth revisiting while we wait to get a proper Season 6 trailer. To get all the basic info out of the way, Better Call Saul Season 6 is supersized at 13 episodes rather than the standard 10. This is likely to help conclude both the Jimmy McGill and Gene timelines, Saul Goodman's story before and after he became Walter White's lawyer in Breaking Bad. It wouldn't be a huge surprise if we get some teasers or scenes in the original show's timeline as we did in Episode 5 of Season 4, but just keep in mind that the finale of Better Call Saul Season Season 5 happened in June of 2004. The first episode of Breaking Bad took place in September of 2008, so there is still a large gap of time between the two series. Personally, I don't think we'll see multiple time jumps to close the gap completely. Where they are right now, there's plenty to wrap up just with Jimmy's story, but you never know. I feel like what needs to happen is that who Saul is when we first meet him needs to make sense in relation to the person we've been watching for the last five seasons. I don't believe they need to fill in every blank along the way. For the release date, this is also supersized in that we have two of them. As mentioned, the final season will be broken up into two halves. The first two episodes of the first half will premiere on April 18th. Then you'll get weekly releases to follow that through episode 7, which will bring back the concept of the mid-season finale. Although I think it's worth mentioning that it doesn't sound like they went into the writing process with this in mind. Back when all AMC shows split their seasons, they wrote them to have an actual finale halfway through. It was more like breaking it into two seasons, and this might not be the case with season six. Either way, the second part of the season will premiere on July 11th, so there's only a seven week gap in between. That means that the Better Call Saul series finale will air on August 15th. They had some fun hinting at the release date in the first two teasers they released. They used the tagline, Mark Your Calendars, without directly announcing what the date was. In the first teaser, we see the cousins, Leonel and Marco Salamanca, arriving at the crime scene outside of Lalo's Hacienda in Mexico. This is no doubt related to Gus's failed attempt on his life in this season 5 finale. You can see the Mexican Federal Police on hand, and the creators use the evidence markers with the letters D and R are as clues. That's the 4th and 18th letters in the alphabet for the 418 release date. In the second teaser, you see Gustavo Fring entering his home after collecting his mail, and the address above the door is also 418. There's not much useful information for speculation in either of these to discuss. It does seem a little strange that there would be an official investigation into what happened at Lalo's place, but you can see that the police officers at the scene are very respectful towards Towards the cousins, they overlook the fact that they kicked the evidence marker and even sort of bow their heads not to make direct eye contact when they pass by. In the Gus teaser, he's wearing the clothing we're used to seeing him in at Los Pollos Hermanos, but that isn't anything out of the ordinary. For the most part, these both seem to be about teasing the date, which did make for a fun few minutes of speculating until someone, or more likely multiple people online, put it together and posted about it. There was also an AMC ad that aired during the Super Bowl that had a couple of short sequences from Season 6, and the first one did have a Breaking Bad character cameo. In that, Jimmy comes into the nail salon where he finds a lot of potential new clients waiting for him, and on the right side of the screen you can see Spooge behind the fish tank. You'll remember him getting his head crushed by an ATM machine he stole, and Saul did mention that he was his client in the original series when that came up while he was talking to Walt. There's also a quick shot of Gus meeting with someone at the chicken farm, and a shot of Kim looking over her shoulder. A lot of people brought up the shirt she's wearing and how it doesn't really look like her normal style. It has a floral print, and so that led to some wild speculation that she's maybe involved in something happening in Mexico. I mean, it does look more like something Lalo would wear than what she would, but that's also a pretty big stretch. 
The final teaser where they actually confirm the release date is the most interesting one. But this is where we have to consider, is this purely promotional or is this teasing something that will actually happen in one of the episodes? Historically, Better Call Saul does usually put out a number of preseason teasers with content that they produce separately to promote the show. The reason I bring that up is that this third teaser appears to show Gene returning to Albuquerque. It's in black and white just like everything Gene's in and starts with a close-up shot of Jimmy that you see is on a wanted poster when the camera pulls back. It's offering a $5 million reward for information leading to the arrest of James M. McGill aka Saul Good and has a phone number plus the email address saltips at deainfo.org. From the other flyers on the board, it's clear that this is hanging somewhere in Albuquerque. And just in case you forgot, Gene works in Omaha, Nebraska. But you do see him walk by and pull it down as he passes. Gene returning to New Mexico would be a very big deal if it actually happens. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see if this is something that's going to show up. The email address is fake, but if you call the number on the flyer, you do hear this. The number you have reached is no longer in service. There is no further information at this time. That is definitely a recording of Bob Odenkirk's voice, and that led some fans to speculate that the poster and number was something that Gene made himself as a part of a scheme. I can see where they're coming from. The $5 million reward seems rather high, and Jimmy is a schemer. Plus, we are expecting that there will be some sort of face-off with Jeff the taxi driver now that he's identified him, but this shot being in Albuquerque kind of feels disconnected from that. It makes for a good tease, though, and I'm excited to see if there's more to it. After all, one thing we know for sure is that we will be getting an ending for Gene's story. There has been several mentions of that in interviews. The showrunner Peter Goulds is the most repeated. He told EW, anyone who watches the show carefully and is thinking about where this is all going, one of the questions you have to ask yourself is, what does this man deserve? Not just what's going to happen to him, but what would be a deserving end to this? Does Jimmy McGill, Saul Good Gene Takovic deserve death? Does he deserve love? What would be the most fitting end for this guy for the show? Obviously, the end for everybody is death, but that may not be where we leave this guy. Is there any way for him to win any redemption after everything that he's done? When TV Guide asked his co-creator about Gene's fate, Vince Gilligan said, I love the story of someone who has done a lot of bad things, nonetheless redeeming themselves. And in a recent article from the New York Times, they visited the final season set to interview Bob Odenkirk, and the scene they were shooting certainly sounded like one of Gene's. Vince Gilligan was also directing that one, and we know he's directing the penultimate episode 612, so that might also confirm that there will be more Gene content, and maybe even whole episodes in his timeline to end the series. Ever since it was announced that there were going to be 13 episodes, people started to wonder, will we get like three whole Gene episodes at the end? So this might be kind of pointing in that direction. It is pretty funny when you think about how little time has passed in those Omaha scenes and then just how long it's taken for them to come out. Peter Gold has said that they all might take place over just a few days or weeks and they've been shooting them for almost six years. In that New York Times article, there is a mention of the finale script. The interviewer is there when Ray Seahorn learns that Bob got to read it and asks him what he thought. He tells her, I think I like it, but I was pretty wiped out when I read it in the middle of the night. I think it's a challenging way to go to finish the series. It's not flashy, it's substantial, and on some level it's things I hoped for for years in this character's brain. On the other hand, yeah, I have to read it again. But what I like about it is it's not cheap. It's not easy. It doesn't feel cartoonish. It's pretty great, I think. It's pretty great. He added, I would want to end on this kind of character development focus. That's what it's about instead of something that just has guns in it. I guess there's a few guns, but they're not like in other episodes. And he tells the reporter, I spend a fair amount of time doing crimes this season. Just stupid crimes. So this seems like a good place to wrap things up. We've got less than two months to go before the final season is here. I'll be covering the whole thing and putting out more BCS videos between now and then. Let me know in the comments what you think about the teasers and all your thoughts about the final season. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.